One thing that really has a lot of Star Wars fans very excited about what's to come for this new Star Wars universe is that we got George Lucas, Jon Favreau, and Dave Filoni all working together as a team to deliver new, authentic Star Wars stories for the fans around the world to enjoy. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that we do know when it comes to this new expanded universe is that it's not just going to involve books, novels, comics, and video games, but also live action and animated TV series to come on Disney Plus, as well as new Star Wars movies to arrive in the near future. Now, one thing that we also know is that George Lucas is really trying to deliver a lot of his hard work from Star Wars Legends, also a lot of the abandoned concepts for Star Wars Legends that never actually even was a part of the original Expanded Universe to begin with, and what could have been that will be now applied to the new Disney Universe. And that's exactly what George wants in order to really make it very much authentic by his own vision of Star Wars, his own philosophy of the franchise, and exactly what he wants for the brand in order to make it really go above the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And that's exactly what Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni want as well. They really want to bring Star Wars back to a part or a place, if you will, where it really was at the very top. There's no denying now that Star Wars has been on a sharp decline and that what they are trying to do is that they want to create a V. They want to create a big increase when it comes to fan interest with Star Wars, you know, overall. Now, with that being said, of course, what's really intriguing that has everything to do with George Lucas is that now that Disney and Lucasfilm are working on over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects with movies on the side, they are very busy with creators like Jon Favreau, George Lucas, and even Dave Filoni to create a better future of the Star Wars franchise moving forward. Now, it's explained that currently George Lucas has been making many changes to the new Star Wars universe in order to set things on the right path to evolving the brand, pro the brand properly. Now, it's known that just recently George Lucas canceled a major Star Wars movie slash trilogy that was going to be a big part of this new universe that was initiated by Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy. Now, Lucas was actually said to have just canceled a major Star Wars trilogy that was going to be based within the High Republic era that would focus on a timeline set 200 years before the events of The Phantom Menace that was going to involve no wars and no lightsaber duels, per se, in the new Star Wars movies that would focus on new Jedi. Now, Lucas saw this as an abomination for Star Wars fans and decided to recently cancel one of Kathleen Kennedy's major creations. Given that Kennedy no longer has creative control, Lucas had the authority to delete the film and keep it from being developed or ever seeing the light of day. Now, let me just stop right here for a second, guys. Now, this is completely separate from the other trilogy that George Lucas is actively working on as a co-writer. So just keep in mind that this is a new trilogy that was recently canceled that Kathleen Kennedy was going to release. Now, it's said that Lucas also wanted to cancel the series since it involved dinosaurs that appeared very Earth-like in the new film, that Kennedy wanted to combine Star Wars with Jurassic Park for the new movies that Lucas recently canceled that was going to be a big part of the new Star Wars trilogy that would focus on the High Republic era. So in case you guys have been out of the loop, Kennedy, Kennedy actually had 10 years worth of Star Wars projects in the works after her work on Episode 9, and a lot of them were trilogies, some of them of which, and some of them of which were spin-offs of those trilogies that were in development. Of course, you know, you had the Ryan Johnson trilogy at the time, you had this trilogy, and then you had the other one, the David Benioff and D.B. Weiss one, all separate, and within that, you would also have spin-off films. They really wanted to focus on a lot of movies, where now they're dialing back on the concept of trilogies. Currently, right now, they're focusing on one new Star Wars trilogy, and one new trilogy for the most part only, where Lucas also is going to be heavily involved in the process with all of that as a co-writer. Thankfully, Lucas canceled this one in particular that was greenlit by Kathleen Kennedy that was going to focus on the High Republic era. No wars in a Star Wars trilogy sounds like a disaster. I don't know how you could even make that if it's going to be centered on the Jedi. Uh, some of you guys out there may like the idea of seeing a time in which the Jedi are purely, you know, in a time of peace. But I feel like that that's not all that interesting as a movie that's called Star Wars. 
You know, when you see wars in the title, you expect wars. It's in every single Star Wars movie in some way, shape, or form. You just can't skip that concept. So Kathleen Kennedy was really way over her head when it came to this new trilogy. Lucas realized this and thankfully brought everything to an end in order to set things right for Star Wars fans. So like I've said before in the past, guys, you know, let me know what you think about the entire situation here between Disney, Lucasfilm, George Lucas, Kathleen Kennedy, so on and so forth, and where things are really going. Are you excited? Are you not excited? Let me know what you think about all this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.